Hey, you. Is everything hey. okay? Yeah. Yeah, fine. Really? Well, uh, you know, Christine and I were wondering what had happened to you. We didn't know where you'd gone. <sighs> I'm sorry. It's just, uh... It's just, um, Paige, huh? It suddenly occurred to me that I'll probably never see her again, and I didn't even have a chance to say goodbye. Maybe it was not meant to be because, uh, there she is. Hey, you're still here. Yeah, I'm still here. What, what happened? Did you see Allison? Did you get to meet her? No. Your cousin Rafe stole her away. I'm sure you're very happy to hear. I didn't even get a chance to see her. You woke me up out of that barn and, and pulled me out of there like it was on fire. Now, what's going on? No, there's nothing going on. I just didn't think we should waste any more time sleeping. No, please don't give me that, OK? Now, it's obvious that we have been running from something, and we have been for the last couple of days. So just, just tell me what. What is it? All you have to know is that I'm trying to keep you safe. OK, safe from what? Rafe, please, please. I'm not going another step until you tell me what this is all about. There's another angel, someone you haven't met. OK, and? I'm afraid that she's here to take you back. I'm afraid that she wants you to fill the fifth chair. Casey, go! Save yourself! No, I am not leaving here without you! You don't have to thank me. It's just the thought of, um, spending these last moments on Earth alone. How can I help? Just be with me. And then maybe join me for a drink? Sure. What would you like? I I'll get it. I've, um, I've grown very familiar with this bar in the last few days. You sure? Positive. Pose a toast. Here's to the man that gave my journey such meaning. I'm sorry, I am. What a cruel joke, huh? After everything, I'm leaving here without knowing the reason why I was ever here at all. Don't go, Paige. Don't go. Oh, sweetie. Wish I could stay. I really do, but it's time for me to go home now. But I want you to always remember what a lucky little girl you are. Do you know why you're so lucky? Because you're part of a family. And I want you to promise me you're going to take care of them. You do that for me. Be a good girl now, okay? Hey, come here, you. <laughs> come here, you. Hey, um, thank you. That was very, very nice of you to say. And uh, I really, I really do hope you find your peace, that peace, whatever it is. I hope you get it. I know. And I also know that Kevin is where he belongs, with his true soulmate. Yeah, he is. And I will feel him and love him forever and ever. But Paige, that doesn't change the fact that you were his first love. So um, I think you need a way to say goodbye properly. 
So that means we're gonna um, go find this person some dinner, huh? Goodbye, Christina. Goodbye, Paige. Goodbye, Paige. <sighs> Help me, Kevin. Tell me how to say goodbye. We both know that if an angel really is coming for me, I mean, there's no use in us, right? No, I will not let her take you! We don't even know if that's true. But it all makes sense. It makes perfect sense. Okay, listen, please, please listen to me. We don't have that much time together. We really don't. And I don't want to spend it talking about this, something that we have no control over, something that, that may or may not happen, okay? I just really want to focus on us. I just need to know, when I leave, you stay. Rafe, listen to me. I really do have every intention of living to a ripe old age. Okay, and whatever life throws at me, whatever life really does bring me, I will carry the promise that I made to you. That I will keep your love with me forever. Okay? So just remember that, okay? And there will be nothing to be afraid of. Right, because when an angel loves you, nothing can hurt you, right? Nothing. I've been doing a lot of thinking over the last few days, you know. Okay. How about you? Me? Yeah. Who you are and the journey you're on and I, how I could possibly figure into it. And I, I can't for the life of me figure it out, but I do know this. I'm a better man for having known you. You, you, you don't have to say no, this No, 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 it's yet. all right. I... Listen, this wasn't about a, a physical attraction either. This was uh, about a closeness, a closeness that... Apart from my wife, I've never felt for anyone. She saw in you uh, an honesty and an openness and an innocence that I lost a long time ago. You will always have a place in my heart. I'm honored that you felt that way about me. It uh, touched my heart. You touched my heart. And I love you for it. Well, that was some toast. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't mean for it to turn to a speech, but that's the Irish way. Okay. Let's turn to a woman of great beauty, great passion, great courage. Angel, in every sense of the word. Cheers. Stop! I can't do this! Can you say that you love me? You don't know me. You have no idea what I'm capable of doing. What's the matter with you? Get a hold of yourself. I just tried killing you, Ian. You what? Just now, I just tried killing you. What are you talking about? Your wine. I poisoned it. I wanted you to die. You, you, wanted, you wanted what? Just like you made my father die. Your father? This is not making any sense. Well, then I mean, maybe I... this will clear it up for you. My name is not Amy Stradling. My name is Amy Harris. The same Harris whose father you killed. And I wanted to make you pay. <laughs> That's the only reason why I came back. That's the reason why I'm here. It was his dying wish. He made me promise to make you suffer the way he had. And I tried to hate you. I tried so hard, but I couldn't do it. I fell in love with you. 
I couldn't do it. like me. You're nothing like your father. <laughs> he tried to fill you with hatred and bitterness, but he couldn't succeed because inside you beats the heart of an angel. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm so okay. sorry. Alison about me. I'll tell her everything about the beautiful girl who was my first love. And I'll tell her all about the incredible woman that she became. Please tell her I'm... I'm sorry I didn't meet her. I promise. Paige, Allison isn't the only legacy that you're leaving behind. What do you mean? It's because of you that Christina began to trust me and accept me. You're the reason we're a real family now. And your heart and your spirit will always be a part of that. I'll never forget you. You, you don't have to go right now, do you? Please. I want you to remember me as I am, as I'll remember you. Goodbye, my darling. She never found it. She never found what she was looking for. Don't cry, Daddy. Oh, honey. Oh, honey, I'm all right. I'm all right. I can't do this. I can't let you go. Please. Please, we just need more time. Just a little bit more time, please. Listen, you promised me that we would have more time oh, to say goodbye. I'm sorry. You I'm did. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Wait. I just feel like I should do something, you know, like I should try or something. Remember what you told me? That, that, that you're going to have our love to hold on to. We both will. And we made a promise to each other that we will carry our love together forever, always. Okay? okay? We will. We will. Just not yet, please. Just not yet. Just stay just a little bit longer. Please. Please, baby. I love you, Alison Barrington! 
I will love you forever. To my aunt. I'm done right there. Okay. Right there, right there. Right, right. Be right. <coughs> I gotta go, Ricky. No, no, Casey. I don't care what that stupid watch says. I don't want you to go. It's not our call, baby. But I love you. Come on, doesn't that count for anything? It counts for everything, okay? I just wish I would have known that from the beginning. What does that mean? It just means that when I first came here, all I really wanted was my life the way it used to be. You know, I wanted to go out, party, be wild. And I didn't set out to fall in love. But I did. And guess what? Turns out that's the most awesome high ever. And it's a high that's gonna last me into eternity. Stop talking like that. Ricky, what happened? Casey saved us, Jamal. She saved us in that No, no. I mean, your face. It's completely healed. It's normal. She really was an angel. I can really see you. <laughs> I can see the color of your eyes. Your smile. You're even more wonderful than I imagined. Oh, I can't believe it. Loving you gave me my heart back. It was the reason why I came here. I can see that now. I can see everything. <laughs> I'm glad I had a chance to know you. For whatever the reason. Maybe. I do. But I leave with a sense of peace I never thought I could find. Goodbye, Ian. Take care of yourself. Goodbye, friend. I should have doubted you. Who knew, huh? OK, Ed. We're all here. Nobody came with us. That means nobody died. Nobody's going to be sitting in the fifth chair. Come in. We've been waiting for you.
Port Charles. Superstition begins Monday. Next, Port Charles. I saw you, and I felt you, and you were as real as I am. I, I just heard. Where, 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 where's Ian? Here. Oh, my God. We're here to help you. Am I dead?